Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about a book that I used for a course at the undergraduate level. It was a 4,000 level introduction to complex variables course, aka complex analysis. And the book I used was Fundamentals of Complex Analysis, and it's written by Saf and Snyder. So this is my copy, the one I used for the course years ago. It's all beat up and raggedy. Uh, it was a hard course, but it was an awesome experience, and this is an excellent book for beginners. I really like this book. I even liked it when I was taking the course. Um, it's a great book, and let's talk more about it. So this is the table of contents. It starts from the very beginning. So it starts with the algebra of complex numbers. So it makes you feel good about yourself because you'll understand most of it. I think the trickiest thing at the beginning of the book is when you get to the argument of a complex number. So like to really understand that uh, takes some time, especially because it comes up again when you get to multi-valued functions. So pay special attention um, to everything in this book. In particular, pay special attention to the argument when the author explains it. He does a pretty good job. It then goes on to analytic functions. And then he goes on to elementary functions. Then the book goes into complex integration. Then series for analytic functions. And then residue theory and conformal mapping. So all the standard topics that you would see in a complex variables course. Then it talks about some of the transforms of applied mathematics. We never got into this uh, when I took the class. Uh, we did the first six sections. I think we touched on uh, conformal mapping, but we didn't get much into it. So we did the first six chapters uh, when I took this course. This book is a really good read. It's very easy to read compared to other math books. Of course, like any math book, you want to have a paper and pencil with you as you read it. Um, but overall, I think if you do get this book, uh, you will find it uh, extremely enjoyable. I have read uh, most of this book. The exercises in this book uh, are not too difficult, which is good. Uh, if, you're, if you're using this for self-study uh, or you're taking a class with this book, you don't want to feel defeated when you get to the exercises. So as you can see, some of them have been circled here. That means I've done these. I actually have a video for number two. Yeah, there's a video in my complex variables playlist uh, for number two. That's funny. Wow, so now you know where I got the problem from, right? I got it from, from this book. Yep, I think I did uh, 3B. I also have a video uh, of that one as well. Good stuff. One of the negatives about this book is that the author doesn't really provide um, solutions to the proofs, which is quite common for most advanced books, but uh, we can always hope for more. <laughs> um, this one does have answers to some of the odd-numbered problems, not all, um, so that is quite nice. It is definitely better than no answers. And again, the exercises in this book are totally doable. This is 4.6, which is on uh, bounds for analytic functions. And looks like I did the first six problems. They're all circled, every single one. So if I could do it, you could do it, right? Um, and again, the readability is quite good. It's a really good complex analysis book. I think this is probably the best beginner book uh, for complex analysis that I know of. So again, the book is Fundamentals of Complex Analysis, uh, and it's written by Saf and Snyder. And I think this is the best beginner book for complex analysis. If you want to learn complex analysis on your own, I think you should get this book. I think you'll be able to read and understand most of it, at least at the beginning. So that's it.